It is a beautiful fall afternoon. I just got back from a short beach trip and there was a bunch of packages waiting for me. Let's get into it. There are some comic books here for my comic book folks, but we're going to start off with a movie. This is Sudden Fear, starring Joan Crawford and I believe Jack Palance. This is supposed to be a, yep, Joan Crawford, Jack Palance, Gloria Graham. It's supposed to be a really uh, tight noir thriller, and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I've been kind of on a Joan Crawford kick since I watched Grand Hotel. Really enjoyed that movie. I watched uh, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. That movie is incredible. It's funny, I told my wife that I had this weird impression that whatever happened to baby Jane was a bad movie and I don't know where I picked it up but I just always thought that I had heard it was a bad movie but it was so good and it was just a weird it was weird to have that impression it's almost like oh psycho I heard that was a bad movie like I don't know where I picked that up from but I'm glad I finally just watched it because it was awesome but I'm also looking forward to this one sudden fear so that was it for the movie pickups for now. I've been streaming a lot more stuff and maybe downloading, but you didn't hear me say that. But the physical collection has not been growing as much. I was on a short little kick of buying a lot of Blu-rays. I'm kind of waiting for November when Barnes & Noble does their twice annual Criterion 50% off sale because they also do they do Criterion and Arrow video every November for 50% off which is a decent price but I'm probably because they retail for 40 bucks and half price makes them 20 so it's not like some bargain basement clearance prices but anyway that's one of the reasons I'm kind of cooling off for the time being on buying Blu-rays. Now this first package of comics is something that I thought I would never see. And I have talked about how things rarely actually get lost in the mail. And this package showing up to my door actually validates me saying that because this was shipped towards mid to late September and a week went by, I didn't get it. I asked the seller, hey, what's up with this? And he said, he said, brother, I, I took it to the post office, I swear. And I said, no, no worries. I waited another week and he actually proactively reached out to me after that second week and was like, here's your money back. Sorry about that. If you, if you end up getting them, you can keep them. Well, guess what happened? It is now towards the end of October, almost exactly a month later since he shipped these things. And I got <laughs> Infinite Vacation 3, 4, and 5. So now I have two full sets of Infinite Vacation because the story is I had issues 1, 2, and 3, started reading them, not realizing there was five total issues. So I had to seek, search out, uh, issues four and five, found this lot, three, four, and five for 10 bucks shipped, went for it. It got quote unquote lost in the mail. So then if you watch my previous videos, you see I bought a, just an, a full run for like 12 bucks. So now I have two complete runs and a double. Now I have a triple of, <laughs> oh baby, a triple of issue number three. So uh, this might be the first thing I sell is just one of these runs. As much as I liked the series, I don't need to have two complete runs of it. And I have a stack, a fat stack of Gemini mailers that I've been looking for a reason to put to good use. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Speaking of Gemini mailers, here's another one. Hopefully it's not all that much tape. Oh, baby, a triple. <laughs> this is good. No tape on the inside. Just two backing boards with the comics in between. You don't need to tape the stuff. All right. So what do we got? Oh, I, sp 
I spoke too soon. These three books are taped together. Gosh darn it. Okay. And they cheaped out by putting two books in one bag and board, which I is kind of a pet peeve of mine. But it's not the end of the world. What do we got here? Spider-Woman number 12 with the ass to end all asses on the back there. Although, if you know, the, there's a way more infamous, infamous Spider-Woman ass cover, but that's its own separate story. Um, yeah, Spider-Woman number 12. I don't have that one. This one I do have. This is a duplicate, but this lot I got pretty cheap because I put a bid on it that ended up winning. So I think I got this whole lot for like seven bucks plus shipping. But I have this one, issue number 49. That's a duplicate. This next one I do not have, issue number 28. This one has Spider-Man in it. It's not considered a key. I think I was talking some smack the last time I showed a Spider-Woman with Spider-Man on it because I said, oh, this is a Spider-Man and it's not a key. Why not? The other one's a key. Well, the one that's a key is because it's the first meeting between Spider-Woman and Spider-Man. So that's kind of, it's not just anything with Spider-Man is a key, although a lot of times that is the case. It's only issue 21, I think, which I showed a, a few videos back. That is the first meeting between Spider-Woman and Spider-Man that is considered a key. So that's it. I continue to grow my Spider-Woman collection. It's a little bit, it's getting tougher and tougher as what I need gets shrunk down and there's only so many, I only need like 20 more issues. And it's getting to the point where it's harder to find lots full of issues where I don't have too many duplicates, right? Because I'm looking for lots, like this lot is three books, but one of them's a duplicate, but I, I that's okay with me because of how little I paid for it. But it's harder to find those kinds of lots that have more stuff that I don't have than stuff I do. And buying individual issues is pricey because you're paying, if you're lucky, two, three bucks a book, then plus four or five bucks shipping. So it's, it's a little bit slower. The more, the more complete the, the run gets, the slower it goes. But I'm going to keep, keep going for it. I'm going to keep reading them. And I'm going to keep making YouTube videos. So thank you for stopping by. And I'll see you on the next one.